Hi there, Alex Chess here. We continue to dig deeper into the chess fundamentals as promised. So if you haven't subscribed to the cow, please do it now. The whites make the first move. Each player can move only one piece at a time. The moves are made in turn. Let's look closer to each type of piece. The king. The king is the most important piece. If your opponent king is lost or checkmated, you win the game. In fact, the word checkmate means death to the king in Arabic. The whole idea of the chess game is to put an opponent's king in a position, number one, it can't make a move, and number two, it is being attacked at the same time. The latter is very important as we will know later. The king can occupy any adjacent square how many moves a king needs to make to reach the end of the board, the cow wants to know. Yes, it is 7. That's pretty slow, but it doesn't diminish the king's quality to be the VIP. The queen. The queen is the most powerful figure in the game, but as we already know, not the most important. Just like in life, the game of chess reflects the real life. Master the game and you will know how the life is structured. If the queen is removed from the board, the game is not over. And sometimes, you'll blandly sacrifice the queen to win the game. In one move, the queen can reach the end of the chessboard. It is able to move both vertically slash horizontally and diagonally on both white and dark squares. But it doesn't have to. It can stop any square it passes by. Interestingly, the queen originally was named differently, a council or an advisor, and is still called like that in other languages. Its original capabilities were limited, similar to a pawn, but it transformed through the time and became a true queen. I'm gonna make you an offer that you can refuse. I offer you absolution and protection in exchange for a little price of your like and a subscription. Amen, brothers. The rook. Don't mix it with the crook. It's powerful too, but not that much as the queen. It can do vertical and horizontal moves on white and dark squares but not diagonally. The queen and the rook are so-called heavy pieces. Originally in Arabic, this piece was called rook, which was a magical bird. Then it transformed into a rook, a tower, but we know it as a bird since it is a zoo. The queen and the rook are major pieces and the minor pieces are the bishop and the knight. The bishop. Oops, it is not your turn yet. The bishop is a mysterious piece moves only diagonally, back and forth. It takes one move to reach the end of the board if necessary. As you noticed, there are two bishops in each set of pieces, so-called white and dark bishops. This means that every bishop can move diagonally only on either white or dark squares. They live in a parallel universe, like in contemporary physics, and they would never collide or have a lunch together. The knight. The knight, or horse, is even more mysterious because it moves quite weird and can jump only from the one universe to another unexpectedly. From white to dark and from dark to white in an L-shaped way. Doctors sometimes use an expression, knights move thinking, for certain manifestation or schizophrenia metaphorically, referring to the unexpected and illogical connections between ideas. The pawn. The pawn is an interesting thing. At one side, it is very weak and very limited in its potential moves because it can only move by one square and it can't back up. But it might be faster than the king to reach the edge of the board because as long as it is not touched, it has a right but not an obligation to move two squares. And once it struggles all the way to the edge of the board, it can be promoted to any stronger piece. In other words, you potentially can have extra 8 queens, or 8 rooks, or 8 bishops, or 8 knights. As a French proverb says, every soldier carries a martial button in his knapsack. Unfortunately, the pawn can't become a king, but having extra 8 kings messing around would be fun. We remember that historically a queen was a different kind of pawn. My cow also dreams to become a ballerina one day. That's it for today. Thank you for your continuous interest. Don't forget to sign up for my channel and see you next time.